Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Lego Star Wars unboxing video. Okay guys, so this is obviously one of the new, certainly others as of the date of this recording, which is the 11th of May 2014, uh, Lego Star Wars Summer 2014 set and this is the much anticipated an exciting Moss Esley's Cantina set 75052. So this is for ages 8 to 14. It has a piece count of 615 pieces and it will be retailing in the US I believe for $69.99 and I just bought this from my local Lego store and I paid, let me just double check, see that so that is 64 pounds and 99 pence here in the UK which does seem excessive when you compare it to the 69 dollars and 99 cents in the US of A um, when compared to obviously exchange rates so uh, so you can see the front art there looks absolutely awesome really excited about this set so again just some closer ups there are the minifigures which we get in this set. Okay, around to the rear of the box. And put them back. Obviously we can see some of the scenes. Obviously very, very famous. Very famous scene from in the um, Star Wars film. And some of the functions from the set. Okay, so there we go guys. Okay, just looking at our top view. Okay, so let's get this box opened up and see what's inside. Okay. So we are back to the seals, tape, as opposed to the push down on the cardboard. Um, one thing I have noticed with these new summer 2014 sets of the boxes seem to be a lot smaller in one way or other. I mean this is a very thin box but longer. Um, but some of the other boxes which contain some of the largest, larger sets are uh, noticeably smaller. So you can see in there in my opinion it's crammed in there a lot more than what it used to be um, so first thing see look we see that that's not particularly brilliant the way that sticker sheet comes out I'm already bent up and as you saw that's just straight out of the box so we have a small sticker sheet there anyway uh, again, so we have instruction manual two there's obviously another one in there somewhere, so let's just get this emptied out on the table. Like so. Okay, that's interesting. Two. So there's one. Is it inside it? Yes. So, number one is also inside number two. So we have two. Um, instruction manuals, I'll show you those in a bit more detail in a second. We have bag number one, bag number two, bag number three, bag number four. Bag number five, we have three of these flexible um, hose pieces. So they're obviously going to be going around Luke's speeder. Okay, three of those. 
and a separate bag. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and the sticker sheet which I showed you just a second ago. Okay, so the instruction manuals is manual number one. You can see there the scene on the front. On the rear, lego.com product feedback. Okay, so let's take a look at the first look inside. It shows you all the numbered bags and what's built in each bag. Okay, straight into the build. If we go to the rear of this one. Okay, 45 pages of build in the first manual. Okay, so this is what a lot of people have been asking for. So here we have the minifigures. So I'm gonna let you have a good look through that. And these are obviously the minifigures that are coming in this 2014. Just bear with me, let's shine through. That's coming in the 2014 summer Lego Star Wars wave. There really are some awesome minifigures in here. Okay, so there's the mini fingers to look forward to for everyone. And manual two, we have the same scene on the front. Lego club on the rear. We open up this one, yeah, straight into the build. So it obviously starts on bag four. Okay, and if we go to the rear, okay, we have a total page count of 49. Focus eventually. It doesn't want to play. Okay, guys, trust me, that is page 49. And the inventory over two pages. So that is the instruction manuals. Okay, guys, there we go. That's my unboxing video complete. Um, let me know what you think of this unboxing and how excited you are about this set down in the comments. I certainly am and I'm going to start building this now so I can get the review um, to you as soon as possible. So if you did enjoy this video, please do go ahead and give it that thumbs up and show your support. Like I said, let me know your views down in the comments section along with any other comments, questions or feedback. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.